For more breaking news tonight, we continue to get new information after a truck slammed into a packed school bus, sending two students to the hospital. Right now, investigators are on scene piecing together what caused that crash. NBC Charlotte's Evan West live tonight with the late breaking details. Yeah, Highway Patrol says this accident wasn't caused by the wet roads. It all comes down to the double yellow line. The driver of a red pickup truck crossed over it trying to get ahead of a school bus, but instead of passing the bus, the driver almost caused a tremendous tragedy. Both arriving on scene do have a uh, school bus involved, uh, heavy damage. Shaking off the adrenaline, the WC Friday Middle School students can barely remember a moment they'll never forget. I was looking down and when I looked up, half of the windshield was shattered. North Carolina Highway Patrol says two kids were taken to the hospital with minor injuries, a miracle compared to what could have been. I think we had a total of about 15 treated on the road. Raven Gilbert is thankful more of her classmates were not injured, but she's still thinking of those who went to the hospital. One of my friends got cut right here. Highway Patrol says the driver of this red pickup truck is the guilty party, attempting to pass the school bus, but instead hitting the dump truck. The accident shut down Dallas High Shoals Highway for hours with parents forced to pick their kids up from the scene, but every family leaving feeling very fortunate. Could have been worse. Uh, luckily, the, the first collision involving the, the pickup truck and the trash truck was the most extensive. We are told by North Carolina Highway Patrol that the driver of the red pickup truck was charged with improper passing, careless and reckless driving, and improper equipment because the tires were so worn down. We're also told that that driver was evaluated for driving under the influence, but he was not charged with that. Reporting live tonight, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte.